Okay, I'm holding what probably looks like a kind of a funny device. Uh, this is called a Secchi disc. Important tool for lake managers, for interested citizens to find out really something about their lake. I, I slow it down. I'm looking, I'm looking, I still see it, I still see it. It's still visible. So we've gone down almost a meter. That's about, uh, that's about uh, a yard. And we just hit the blue mark. I still see it. I still see it and I'm about to lose it. It took one and a half full meters before I lost sight of that, uh, of, the, of the disc. If that is the measurement farther out, I would say, well, this lake is, the water's not quite as clear maybe as the person would like. And, uh, and we might want to poke into that a little bit, uh, finding out a little bit more information about the lake. Certainly no indication at this point, however, uh, that, uh, that, that, that it's got major problems. That's, that's not, uh, that's not the, the issue. How to interpret it? Well, some uh, biologists or aquatics people actually assign letter grades, just like a teacher in school would say, if this, if this were uh, judged to be, let's say, a C. Possibly um, there is some phosphorus that's uh, getting into the lake off the, uh, off the watershed. We've got a lot of uh, emergent uh, vegetation and it looks like we've got maybe some duckweed. We'll go over and take a look at that. So it's possible that, um, that, that there is phosphorus which is stimulating some algal growth, not nearly as bad as I've seen in a, in, in, in a number of lakes. Um, there are an, an, a number of other um, issues there could very well be as I said uh, uh, chemicals perhaps uh, agricultural chemicals uh, certainly uh, uh, nutrients uh, that come in off the watershed uh, um, I'll, I'll tell you most people really don't realize how important that watershed is uh, what what happens at the shore is very much um, often the result of what's coming in to the lake from the watershed, from the little trickles of little streams that hardly even seem to deserve being called streams, uh, flowing into a little bit, maybe a creek, and then from a creek into a river, and then ultimately into a lake, maybe into, into several different lakes.